Yeah, so the cause is thought to be from non-pasteurized milk. However, outbreaks of E. coli, not uncommon in summer months. They can be deadly at times, worst case. Dr. Bob is here to kind of break this whole thing down for us. Good to see you, Doc. It's nice to be here. E. coli, Escherichia coli, is a very common bacteria that we find in the GI tract, in the colon. So we find it in feces. We find it from cows. We find it from other animals. We find it from humans. Young children with diarrhea can pass on E. coli. Hand to hand, shaking hands after going to the bathroom or changing diapers can transmit E. coli. Now, since it's a common bacteria, there are certain strains of that bacteria that seem to cause this severe problem. And the one is OH157. That really doesn't mean anything, but it's a strain that after you're in contact with it, three or four days later, you begin having rumbling, abdominal, cramping, pain, diarrhea, frequently a bloody stool. Frequently, it's self-limited. It goes away in another five to seven days. Uh, young children become dehydrated. Older people can't handle, cannot handle the diarrhea. So it can be a very serious situation in certain age groups that have this diarrhea. There is no specific antibiotic that's, uh, uh, that this E. coli is susceptible to. Now, there is one hemolytic uremic syndrome, and that's where with the toxin that comes from this E. coli, the red blood cells will die, they become hemolytic, and they can shut down the kidneys, and so you can have actually some residual kidney damage from E. coli also. So it's a serious thing. It frequently comes every summer. It seems to be in shallow swimming pools. And we want to be very, very careful about young children who have diarrhea that are in a swimming pool or the way they're allowed to swim we have toddler diapers that we can use, but if a child has diarrhea, should not be allowed in a pool. And be very, very careful when you find yourself in a pool situation or changing diapers because uh, hand, there's nothing like hand washing in this case. That's where it's really, really effective. A lot of soap, a lot of water get, gets rid of the E. coli, so you won't pass it on from one person to the other. It's very, very contagious. It, it um, uh, very easy for somebody to get infected. So cramping, abdominal pain, diarrhea, bloody stools, and you can get kidney problems with it. So it's a very serious problem that we want to pay attention to every summer. All right, Dr. Bob, great information. Thank you. Always nice to be here. All right, you can catch the Dr. Bob Show, the award-winning, at Tuesday at 9 p.m., Sundays at 2.30 p.m. on 10 News 2. It appears every Thursday, obviously, right here on Live mm -hmm. at 5 and 4, and we love it. It's the best show in town. Oh, thanks. Well, thank Dr. you, Doc, Bob. in part because of you. We'll